In this video we'll be installing a new free to download mod for the Elder Scrolls Oblivion Remastered on the Steam Deck which provides optimizations, improves performance, loading times and can provide improvements for the overall look of the game. This mod gives us the choice of 9 different presets that we can switch between depending on our own individual preferences ranging from quality to performance and I'll be guiding us step by step on how to install the mod as quickly as possible and also how to change between these presets once installed. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From desktop mode, we want to access our web browser and come over to the link pasted in the description for Optimizations Performance Stutter Latency Fix by Hybrid. And we want to scroll down and select Files. And we want to scroll down again and grab this first one, Optimizations All in One. We want to select Manual Download and we want to choose Slow Download and download this to our Downloads folder. Once downloaded, let's bring up our Downloads folder and inside we'll see our zip file. We want to right click, choose Open with Arc, choose Extract and Extract to our Downloads folder. Now once extracted, if we go inside, we're going to see a load of different folders ranging from ultra quality all the way up to low spec gaming. So I'm going to choose number six, extra performance. And in here, we're gonna see four INI files that we're gonna paste somewhere that we're gonna locate now. So we want to right click on home, choose open in a new tab. And if you haven't got your layout like mine, select this third icon here. Let's go over to our home folder and from here we want to select the three lines on the right hand side and choose show hidden files and then we want to scroll down and go into dot steam steam scroll down again steam apps compact data and then we want to choose modified twice and the folder we want is called 2623190 we want to go inside pfx Drive C, then we want to go inside Users, Steam User, Documents, My Games, Oblivion Remastered, Saved, Config, and Windows. And inside, we're going to see our original engine.ini file, which we're going to right click and choose Rename. We're going to press X to bring up our Steam keyboard, and we're going to simply press X like so and this will cancel the use of this INI file for the game. Now if we go to our extra performance for the optimizations, we want to drag all four of these, right click and copy, let's go back to our Windows folder, right click and paste. So whenever we want to change these INI files We'll come over to our main optimizations all in one folder and we can change between extra performance, balanced quality, see which one works best for you. So once that's done, we want to minimize and return to gaming mode and launch Oblivion Remastered. Now in the open world with the extra performance mod applied, we can see I'm getting around 40 FPS depending on the area and we will get stutters when we transition to a new segment of the map and this is likely due to shader compilation which the developers will need to fix in time with patches and I recommend watching Digital Foundry's video I've pasted in the description to learn more regarding the current performance of the game. In our settings menu graphics tab I've got the quality level set to low and I've changed everything else down to lowest as an example and you can tune this according to your own individual preferences. Lumen Hardware RT is set to off and Lumen Software RT Quality is set to low. I've got the upscaler set to XESS performance and we can change this to FSR performance and we can see in the open world with FSR performance I'm still getting around 40 FPS. Now back in desktop mode in our compact data windows folder what I do recommend is going back to config here we want to right click on windows and choose add to places 
and so our Windows folder will always appear on the left hand side for ease of access. Now let's change from extra performance to low spec gaming. We want to drag all four of these INI files, go back to Windows, right click and paste, choose apply to all and overwrite and that will upgrade or downgrade your INI file for each of the optimizations. So let's go back, return to gaming mode. Now once we're in game you may notice that everything is white and if this is the case we just want to press start, go to our system menu, go to our graphics tab and we just want to change one setting. Usually if I want FSR performance I just change this to balanced, apply and then go back and just change it back afterwards. Now with the low spec gaming mod I have noticed that the character gets a lot more ghosting than previously. You might be able to see that. See, there's a lot on the ghosting from Donkey's ears. So it depends if you want to play this way. If not, turn it up to extra performance or balanced or quality. Let us know what works well for you. Now in Imperial City with FSR performance, I'm getting around 60, 70 FPS. In first person mode, almost 80. If we go third person, start running, cause a bit of trouble. Still fairly consistently in the high 50s, depending on the area and the amount of enemies on screen. So we're definitely getting more performance than we did before. If we go first person, you usually get a bit better performance than third person. So lastly, on the lowest preset with XSS performance applied, the low spec gaming mod. In Oblivion, I'm getting around 50 FPS in first person mode. If we move towards the gate, I'm getting around 40 in third person mode. I think previously I was getting around 30 FPS without the mod. And just let us know what your experience has been like using this if you do decide to try. And if you're struggling with anything or have any questions, post a comment down below and I'll try my best to help you out. Now if you're on Windows or a Windows handheld and you want to install the mod, I've got it extracted here on the desktop. I'm just going to go in the extra performance folder, grab all four INI files, right click and copy, go to documents, my games, oblivion remastered, saved, config, and if you have the steam version this will be windows, if you've got the game pass version it will be win gdk. So go inside here and we're just going to right click and paste and replace the files and if you want back up the engine.ini file for the original before pasting the mod. Before we end the video I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Hybrid, the creator of the mod who has been consistently updating it since uploading a few days ago. And you can check on the post tab to see any changes that have stickied to the top of the comments. So I hope this guide helped you with installing this new performance mod for Elder Scrolls Oblivion Remastered on the Steam Deck. And if you enjoyed, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. You will have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.